When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Previously on Sailing Catalpa. We had a quick stop at Lady Elliot and headed on to Lady Musgrave Island. The wind started to really pick up, gusting at 25 knots. So coming into Lady Musgrave Lagoon was perfect timing, although anchoring in it was not ideal. Hey, the next morning, Lee spotted some squid and was on the hunt for some calamari. He was in luck and jigged a beautiful squid for lunch. Taj was keen to catch one too, but even with Dad's expert advice, he had no luck. There you have it. Lady Musgrave, squid fishing, the Taupa. The teardrop in your eye. A hot so The wind dropped out and the sun was shining, so we went ashore to visit the island. On our walk around the island, was, we were pretty excited as we found baby turtle tracks. When your feet are blue or sand, do you ever feel like you've been left behind? With the light Cause when I see you, the tear drop in your eye. Just installed this, <clears throat> and it's a moisture indicator. So, last time we were here, actually, we had a little bit of bad air. So, a couple little modifications I've just got to do before we go for our first dive was this which will have a colour indicator that shows if moisture is coming through from the filter and I've also now um, repacking our own filters just because the cost was like $80 for a, a replacement filter and we can repack them um, for around $10 or something so it makes diving a lot more affordable for us. Um, so yeah, and I've also got a little water trap which I've got a plumber, which is this one here. And yeah, we should be good to go. So TFM Engineering, Australia. He's actually, um, it was really hard to find um, a packable filter for these culture units. So he does the bow of the culture and has a like all these bits and pieces. Um, all add-on. He's actually a lot of his own creations with a lot of stuff and um, yeah, he's right into his diving, his cave diver and yeah, just good company to deal with. He loves what he's doing and he's got all the good gear. While being in Musgrave Lagoon, we quickly met some friends that like to scuba dive as much as we do. This is Paul and Lisa from Yacht Lorelei. These guys are oceanographers and are absolutely awesome people. This is Alex, our new friend, and the other half of Wendy, a beautiful couple from Byron Bay that we ended up spending lots of time with. Our first dive all together was incredible. Check out these beautiful giants swimming through the ocean. I love seeing the manta rays just gracefully going along with the current. You better believe it, my friend, I understand. 
These rays are the friendliest rays we've ever seen. in this school of fish was so cool. They circled around all of us divers and it was so, 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 so amazing. But through the sadness One day come a smile A beauty from inside Lionfish. They're pretty, but you never touch them because they're poisonous. Paul and Lisa are so fun to dive with. Lisa always spots out cool things, like this starfish. It's got this little shrimp crawling around on it. had such a great time that Taj lost track of time and ran out of his air, so he had to buddy with me. I've literally ran out of air. <laughs> How unreal was that though? Oh, oh. How was that big school of fish? <laughs> Meet Gary. Gary is a big cod that befriended us and lived with us while we had our time at Lady Musgrave Lagoon. He became our bestie when Lee started feeding him leftover bait. It's absolutely beautiful today. The wind has dropped out and it's amazing. Oh, and here comes our lovely neighbours. Hello. You just missed the feeding of our... Below right Look. now. See? Isn't he awesome? That's so awesome. So good. Oh. It's so neat. He's like, okay, where's the rest? So Alex and Wendy, our new friends on the boat down there, just came over to say hi and she just dropped off some cashew cheese. Freshly made. Thanks, Wendy, you're so lovely. I bet it's delicious. Days like these never grow old. It's no secret Lady Musgrave is our favourite place so far and it's not hard to see why. Oh, Because just as the sun was going down we headed ashore to take in the sunset and the beautiful surroundings when we saw the cutest and newest addition to the world, a baby turtle. Heaven. Oh look at her. Oh it's so cute. You are so Holy cute. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. Hi. You are 
that's so precious. There we have a little baby turtle hatchling, Lady Musgrave Island. Holy crap, that is. This little fella's a little bit late in the season, but oh my God, he so is cute. making his way. He just had planted, but he is getting there. Go, little guy, go. <laughs> Don't get eaten by anything. That's so cute. He barely it's made track. Close up of it, sweetie. When it's like, put it right. Oh no! You're okay. We won't let anything happen to you. Till you get in the water, anyway. Lady Musgrave is an important nesting site for both green and loggerhead turtles, with green turtles being more common. Nesting usually occurs at night during high tide, with the main seasons from late November to January, which we saw last time we were here. The hatchlings start to emerge from nests in the sand from about mid-January until late May, mostly from afternoon to midnight. This was a beautiful moment that none of us will ever forget. Got a massive ray coming along the edge here. Beautiful, look at that. Turtles just popped up behind. It's about this time and there's a shark right in front of the ray over here. Here on Lady Musgrave Island, soon as the sun goes down, the predators of the night arise. With such an innate intelligence, the shark knows that these little baby hatchlings are running down the beach as we speak. Little do they know what awaits them out in the dark blue. Apart from a few land lovers over here, is the least of their woes. There we have it, the blue yonder. Their journey starts there. It was Wendy and Alex's last day, so we went to the island for a snorkel and a picnic. We loved hanging out with you guys so much. is going to get Wendy and Alex they're coming over for dinner <laughs> Taj has picked up and Wendy and Alex and are on their way to our boat the sun's going down and it is Friday afternoon or Friday night. These guys are actually heading off tomorrow. So they broke their propeller so they're going to Gladstone to get a new one. So we're having a farewell dinner with them tonight. Hello! Was he driving safely? He drove totally safely. He was amazing. <laughs> Dinner and wines and stories on Catalpa, making special memories that we will cherish forever. Until next time, guys, we love you. Bye. diving with Paul and Lisa and it did not disappoint. The diving here is epic and the company is not bad either. Promise it'll be your love and when you're feeling worthless You better believe it Oh my friend I understand Do you feel helpless when no one looking Yahweh, yeah. Oh, my friend.
wanna hold your hand, yeah. Hold your Is the largest species of the rays. The largest known specimen was more than 7.6 metres across with a weight of about 1,300 kilograms. The manta rays range throughout the tropical waters of the world, typically around coral reefs. Paul's a really good oceanographer. He got some really good shots. So I got really frustrated trying to catch this squid. We lost our large squid jig. And being that these were such large squid, I tried and tried and could not hook one of these on our smaller squid jig. So the next stop, the first thing we're going to get is a big squid jig. Watch out, guys. Oh, haven't hooked one. How do you feel about that? Like he won't have another go at it. Daddy, he's gonna do that big burst. Quick, get him out of the water. Oh! That's like our fourth time. He's not gonna go again, is he? <laughs> oh my god, he's going. <laughs> he's the dumbest one of them all. Thanks, Alex and Wendy. I love the hula hoop so much. Once again, guys, thank you very much for watching and the support, especially from our patrons. Our next episode is going to be on our water maker, how we make water, what model we chose, why, and I think you'll enjoy it. I'll give you a good little rundown on how we do it all. So stay tuned. Goodbye. Tell me, brother, hear what I say. There's a sin.